Mike Hughes with Dive News Network uh, reporting on the Azores and I'm here with Eduardo and you're going to tell us a little bit about the Azores. They're a beautiful archipelago located in uh, the middle of the Atlantic, four hour flight out of Boston and they constitute uh, nine islands. They belong to the biogeographic region of Macronesia and they appeared about 39 million years ago from the mid-Atlantic ridge. So they've been here just recently? Yeah, they, they began uh, submerging about 10 million years ago in the island of Santa Maria and the most recent eruption was in 1998 just uh, outside of the island of Tosaida. One of the most famous volcanoes in the 20th century happened in the Azores as closely connected to one of your presidents, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, who at the time was a congressman and put forward uh, an immigration act, the Azorian Immigration <laughs> Act, that enabled the poor guys that had been uh, attacked, been destroyed, had their fields destroyed, their homes destroyed, to come over to the United States. They're beautiful islands, they're volcanic, they've been compared to Hawaii for many, many reasons. One of them is the great conditions for surfing, another one is the volcanic activity that can still be seen on the islands. Besides the surfing, the diving too is diving is great. I'm, I'm just going to pull back and you can and see uh, one of the divers uh, swimming with the, the tuna here. And um, uh, we've got a, a quite a concentration a of man rays. A devil rays. Chilean devil rays. Chilean devil rays, as opposed to the not so spicy regular rays. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, here we see that we've got uh, the, the fourth uh, uh, main uh, stopover uh, marina in the entire world, the Bay of Orta. Okay. Where the uh, oldest uh, standing American consulate in the world was established back in 1795. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> I imagine that you remembered all that. Okay, and then we uh, we see the four hours direct from, um, from uh, four hours direct flight from Boston. From Boston. And then we see the nine islands here. Uh, and so this is where the volcanic eruption started down uh, here. Yeah, this is the oldest island in the archipelago. Okay. And you've got volcanic activity on all the islands. And the Mid-Atlantic Ridge passes exactly between the two groups. So these two islands are in the American plate. They're that means split. someday they're going to arrive at Manhattan. Perfect. While we are going all the way over to Europe. So. You know, they do need another island on yeah. Manhattan. Okay. <laughs> and as you can see, you've got the fantastic uh, common dolphins. Here they're hunting the uh, sea mackerel. We've got, this is one of the uh, local species. We've got the common dolphins, female and juvenile sperm whales, mm -hmm. the bottlenose and the rizo dolphin. Those all live all year round in the Azores. So anytime you go diving, you can, you, can, you can eventually see them. Okay. Well, if you go in spring, you might see the blue whale, finback or humpback. And and if you go in summer, you'll see the big sperm whales, the orcas, and the other species of dolphins. So summer bigger ones? Yeah, yeah, Spring, yeah. a little smaller ones. Uh, yeah, sp spring, yeah. And you, and you, of course, have all the big pelagics in summer also. Okay. Like the, uh, the, the whale sharks, uh, you'll also have the blue sharks, the mako, short right. fin mako, which is the fastest shark in the world, if yeah. you can spot them. Yeah, the um, roadrunner of the sharks. Yeah. And, cool. um, and, and then of course you've got all these uh, these uh, rock fishes and uh, dusky gropers and uh, all that along the coast, mm -hmm. along with a lot of uh, still volcanic uh, hot springs. You can swim all year round, 30 to 40 degrees. So nice. Oh, that's too hot to dive in. And, uh, <laughs> and of course you've got some very fantastic wrecks. You've got okay. the twin Liberty ship of the one in Indonesia, uh -huh. the Dory, that, uh, that uh, shipwrecked in the Azores in the. 60s. Right. It's only 10 minutes off the coast and it's uh, minus uh, 8 to 13 meters, which is nothing. And you've got in the heritage city of Angra do Ruizmo over 40 15th, 16th century anchors and an 18th century steamship. So that's a great attraction also to, yeah, to see. Yeah. Good, great, that's a lot to cover. Um, if they want to look at more of this or they can't remember everything you said, they can where? check our website, which is which is visitazores.com. And they'll have the videos and they'll have the contact and we'll be more than happy to inform them of whatever they want to know. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You.